Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever we are. Day two of the New Year's event, and again, once again, I hope you all are having a beautiful New Year so far in 2024. I'd like to begin with Pokemon Go, now we've got three. I've managed to complete those two Darren McIntyre's that you saw yesterday in yesterday's video. I left off, I've got one more picked up as well today, and managed to complete it. So, can we get and shine Darren McIntyre? It's not shiny, and 595, that's not a great start. Obviously, we want the Hundu, 618 is the Hundu. Oh, can we get, please get the shiny, it's not shiny, and 606. Not bad. And uh, third and final one, four. Now is going to be not shiny still and 590. Oh dear. Never mind. There's what it is. So I'll tell you what though, last night weren't too bad. We picked up a secondary shine last night. We picked up a shiny clink in the wild. I think it was level, maybe level one. I think it was 12, 13 CP if I remember rightly. Probably seen the screen recording right now. So super pleased. We've got another, yeah, that was really bad. Um, another shiny. Oh, well, as well, I need a couple more things to discuss. One, yes. My partner back went early hours this morning, she's gone back to where she's staying right now. Anyway, but she's all well and good, so she's done that and she's got work today, so that's it. She will be joining us in the next couple of weeks again, which will be fantastic to see her again. And, Pokemon related, you know I was getting Bronzong from the Catch Free Bronzong task. Yeah, apparently I read on Pink of Togo Central, I did see the tweet, or X, whatever. Uh, it's a glitch. Apparently it's supposed to be Bronzor, but it's a glitch in giving Bronzong right now. I don't know, I've, I'm not bothered either way to be honest. I, I prefer Bronzong because I wouldn't mind getting the Hundu just for the sake of getting the Hundu in a weird way. But obviously, I don't know if it was Bronzor, it could be shiny, obviously. But then again, Bronzor itself is a Perma Boost shiny, so no harm, no foul. And as you know, if you've seen some prior videos, I seem to pick up them quite frequently. So, anyway, but so today's goal, quickly as well, we obviously are trying to get Anshine Jigglypuff if we can, if not Anshine Darren Mac, which would be amazing. Now, as I see, a few people already got these two. Congratulations to all of you. I really want to get them again. We've got today and tomorrow, obviously, hopefully. We can pick up, and obviously I'll tell you what, I'll show you my screen right now. I do have 4 12k, uh, sorry, 7k's on the go right now, which I nearly had. Maybe we can pick up a uh, Hatch and Shiny Bait Pokemon from that or something, be amazing. So we'll see what we get from these four eggs. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. We'll let you know. Keep day. So probably the next thing we'll see probably is my eggs hatching. We're back in a bit. Okay, we are, oh, we've got our four 7k's. Oh, sorry. On the hatch, our first one's gonna be not a shiny wine nor. I would love to get that shiny, I haven't got that shiny. Number two. Not a shiny tire rogue. Oh, just don't go on those yet either. Number three. Number one. Oh, okay, it's not shiny. And our last 7k for now is a zero. We do have the hot shundu of that. Did we get any cheeky hundus though? Not by the looks of it. Nope, definitely not. Can't see a thing. Yeah, no one no. They're ter all terrible. Ha. My luck that is typical my luck. Nothing good off my, uh, nothing entirely good off my daily incense either. Which I did rather hoping to get a G bird, but nah. Here's what it is. Maybe if you got some more 7Ks, maybe catch some more. Ah, typical. Here's what it is. Let's see if we can get anything good. My good people, I managed to pick up and finally complete catch five Darren Makatos, because flying that last one was difficult. They're not very common in the world, but top one's leave us. Not a shiny and 599. Number two is going to be not a shiny still and 3597. Sorry, they're getting worse. Last one. Come on, be good or shiny. It's not. And wow. More dead badge, that sucks. More but five seven Ks. Come on, I'd love to see something shine out of this, or at least be really good. Come on, first one is gonna be so to be fair enough. Number two is gonna be oh, that kid. I'll take any of the shiny right now. We'll take any shiny. Number three, a few two, probably with a hat. It's a bit once loaded. Number four, Magli, the cream lily, and finally, no shiny. Look at a final egg. It's still not a shiny in a clasper. Well, we've got one of each, I can't complain. So, didn't get anything good though. 669 elected is not that great, not that great, not that great, and that's almost a flaw. But yes, it was Anna's one from Spain, that was from Ente. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. It was a two star one based on that Spaniel. That's Spaniel and Pichu. Oh, well, I'll take it. Oh, and a clasper. Sorry, I forgot the clasper. Missed that one. I apologize. It's that one. That is the flaw. Now, I come from Florida, America. Now, that is the flaw. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, the Rex has not been good to us again, sadly. Here's what it is. We'll carry on. Again, my good people, just a fair bit of time has passed. As you can tell, we are back home, and I've been trying to. I've been. I picked up two more Daramaka tasks and a Bronzong Moo task. It's taken me fair to complete them, honestly. They are so scarce for some reason. Jigglypuffs, Hoo Hoot, Manic in the Wild, Bronzor, and Daramaka for me. Scarce to none, but here we are. But I finally completed them, so. Go through this now, we'll literally finish this off and then we'll call it for today. Maybe we'll finish it up tomorrow. Obviously, it's the last day tomorrow, so maybe we'll roll into one big, little longish video. So it's going to be Darren Macker that isn't in five times. <laughs> I just want a decent one. I've got two decent ones yesterday, I know. I want that shiny, and I kind of want a more of a decent one. That is fine on three. It's poor. I mean, I've got the Hundu, as you show, I showed you the other day, so you know I've got the Hundu. But, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I don't know, this could be the bronze on this one, unless they've fixed it. No, it's still a bronze on, a 946. Which I didn't matter, I still messed up the throw. But I did catch you. I don't know what the Hondo is, bronze on, I have absolutely no idea, but it is definitely not that. 15, 11, 13, I want to say today. I lost Aaron McIntosh on the day, please. Not shiny, and 600 on the dot. Oh, shame. 16 off the Hindu, never mind. We've got just a two really good ones, just as you so, as you did see, so not in my sight. Yeah, it's not going too bad as well. Like I said, I wish there was more Darren Mankers and Bronze on the bottom. Maybe it's just where I'm looking for, and maybe I'm in the wrong places, who knows. But it's going so, so well. I'll tell you what, we did actually pick up some very good Jiggly Buffs today, if not um, for trade wise, at least in the wild. Um, just with like a lucky one there, but we just traded. We got, I think, uh, 89, I must say, there. I like, picked it obviously off a little head on going on. We did pick ourselves up one of these Jiggly Puffs, I think. Yeah, 91 there. A 93 there. We have been picking up some really good Jiggly Puffs. Some of these have been in the wild, which is insane. Uh, that Vesper Queen. No, 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 no. Look at another screen. It's insane. I really obviously, I did trade that. It was terrible. We found that in the wild, which is really cool. It's my second ever Vesper Queen I found in the wild. And I did trade it and I got 96 per trade. Which is 88 CP. I have not been good for like little cup or something or go leagues, but we're gonna always try. Uh, 98 percent Jigglypuff. I think I found that. Yeah, I found that this morning in the wild, which was just insane, just shy of the hundy. But and obviously, I showed, like, showed, uh, showed you yesterday shiny clink. So see, we've got, we're doing really well with the stats miles on Jigglypuff. No shiny yet, like I said, but we've got tomorrow to maybe one last little thing. Obviously, the New Year's event is ended. I'm hoping we can find some more. Literally, there's just no. Aramakas are hardly um, any bronze holes in the wild, which is really weird. Still, no shiny thing, unfortunately, which does not necessarily anything comes up a bit later, we shall see. If not, like I said, we'll finish up tomorrow, wrap it up tomorrow, last day for the news event, and then our next event will be the Rally Community Day, so cannot wait for that one. We'll catch you in the morning. Hey! Morning or good afternoon, wherever we are. So, today is the last day of the New Year event, and I'm really hoping we can pick up and shiny something at this point, I really don't mind. Uh, either it's Jaramaka, who, who, even the Jiggly Puffy, incredible if we can get that, or if we can hatch a shiny baby Pokemon from 7km eggs. Now I've got a few on the go right now, hopefully all super incubated, so hopefully we can get them hatched off. Now, I want to quickly talk about something with some brand new news once again. Uh, last night, we have got Dusk Form Lycan Rock, which is absolutely incredible. One of my, fa my favourite form of Lycan Rock overall. A third sort of stage evolution, uh, third variation of obviously rock Ruffs evolution which looks amazing i cannot wait this is going to be debuted in the next event illustrious odyssey which there's a couple of problems now first of all it it starts from Jan saturday january 6th from 10 a.m up until january 10th uh 8 p.m your local time both locals on start and finish now this obviously is a four-day mini event so it's a very short one but that's not entirely the problem well, it's a bit problem because it overlaps with rowlet community day so Bit of this decided to start on the same day they've got an event going on but there's one the other problem is this dusk form lichen rock will not be a standalone pokemon you will have to evolve your rock rough into it which sounds great but here's the other problem if you've got prior rock roughs you will not be able to evolve any single ones even the shiny ones into this dusk form lichen rock you have to get an rock rough from this event and it even states may be able to evolve into dust form like which is a bit like meh, that kind of stuff. i have not yet to get a shiny rock rough despite i'm at over 100 i'm showing my screen now over 100 encounters that is from doing raids and hatching from 10 kilometer eggs now but yeah, like i said probably it will, they might be so any rock rough you get from this event may be able to evolve into like uh, this dust form like rock which can be overcome from field research i believe and possibly raids and the well it does say from eggs but the trouble is that there's two and seven kilometer eggs and i believe from the eggs from your adventure sink as well they will put up they will possibly have a chance to evolve into a dust form like rock too now if you don't know what adventure sink eggs are if you have an empty egg slot by the time the reset the weekly reset hits you know when you get claim your rewards at the end of the week how many kilometers you've walked and all sorts sometimes you will receive i believe five and ten kilometer eggs from that if you've got egg slots available i think it depends on how far you've walked actually so yeah i mean but that's the trouble right now i don't think this is going to go away i think it's just debuting dust form like rock into this event but it will be around but i'm guessing any further rock rocks from that point on including for the event might be involved in dust form. so yes an amazing pokemon i cannot wait for it but just very problematic how to get it but here we are nonetheless though the event sounds a lot of fun there will be a lot of wild encounters on screen for you now a lot of wild encounters and lots of shine potentials including 
So I'm following SP1 Umbreon, which in the wild can be shiny. Now, I have a long, long time ago, I actually picked up and shiny SP1 once in the wild. Yeah. Like many years back, which is absolutely incredible. So these two Pokemon will be as well, as long as other Pokemon. As I said, one star raid, we've got his Zoom Rhyhorn. As you see, on rock, rock. all four of those, I've not, well, actually, Rhyhorn I have. Three of those, I've not got shiny yet still. I would love to get those shiny. Three star raids, we've got Lapras, Aerodactyl, Hazumi, and Breedy, and Reardy. Reardy is making a comeback. So if you didn't manage to get and shiny, or if not a Reardy on the Hazumi Reardy raid day, you will be able to get these once again through three star raids during this little mini event. Eggs, I said, from two clones, seven on Rock Ruff. Again, they might have a chance of evolving into Dusk Form Lycan Rock. Field Research, Titan Encounters again. Hazumi Growlithe, Hazumi Sneasel, and Rock Ruff itself once again. Potential of it. And the web store bundle 499 for power passes, remote raid passes to some I think that's on the Pokemon Go web store. And I think there's an event bundle in the game shop for about 600 Pokecoins. Two premium battle passes, two remote raid passes to incubate as well, which is not bad. I don't think it's too bad to deal boxes, but that's under your discretion. So again, this is a very much a mini event and a brand new event. And again, I am super excited for Lycan Rock Dust Form. I've been waiting for this one. I'm a little bit, I don't know, it's it's made it challenging. Ob obtaining this Pokemon itself, it's evolution for it. It's this first generation of Rock Ruff. So Yes, I mean, yes, it's going to be challenging. I suppose it's, it's, I kind of like that. We've got a bit of something, a challenge to work towards, which is great. They're not going to give it out for free, as it were. But at the same time, if you save some really good rock buffs, even shiny ones, preparing for this day, you will not be able to evolve that shiny or the very good one. You have to pick up and rock buff from that event to possibly evolve. I keep mentioning into the form like rock. So, yeah, a bit so so with it. Again, brand new. I love that Pokemon. One of my favorite like rock forms. And we'll see what happens. Anyway, we're going to venture on. We'll see if we can pick up good today's last event. There's one more brand new news. We'll go through that in a bit as well. But until then, let's see what we can pick up. Assuming hatching things. These are my 7k eggs as well. Catch in a bit. Then our first four 7k's are ready to hatch. Let's see if we can pick up and shiny from these please or 100 or something. Please. We've got two really good Pokemon for an incense. I'll show you in a bit. But that's not a shiny Togepi. We've started off the Togepi again. Did that yesterday. Second egg is going to say not a shiny Magby. Alright, alright, alright. Two more. Number three. Like I said, I got a shiny deal with this, so I'm not too bad about that. Zero. Last leg is another zero. Damn it, I'm not shiny. Okay, so. Oh, 204 was pretty good for that. Um, a zero. 208 is the Hundu. So, 98%. <laughs> that is my third 98% Pokemon of today. I'll show you the other two in a second. That's terrible. That's not that great. From New York, that's pretty sick. And that one, 96 from California. Two really good zeros. Alright, fair enough. And then two, what was that Magby from? New York as well, I said that, didn't I? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, that's not half bad, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, yeah, this... I'll tell you what, I've run over in, like I said, our first Pokemon was Azorua, sadly it wasn't shiny and... Yeah, that's, that's terrible, never mind, but I did pick a 98 Daramak off the incident, which is insane. And then a 98 Hoo Hoo as well. <laughs> so three 98% Pokemon now, one from a hat, so pretty decent eggs actually, surprisingly. I was gonna catch more couple more Daramakas, shiny bronze off the incident? It actually is our first shiny, yeah, I got it on camera, it is a boosted shiny bronzer. Let's go, we got shiny for the day. <laughs> oh, what a stroke of luck, let's go. I'll take it, I don't know how many I'm on now, but... Yeah, we got that shiny, and it is the bronzer. The Pirani of the Incense, and it's really bad, of course it is, never mind. Hey, we're not doing too bad, like I say, a couple more Darren Mackers for the task. Alright, we're doing alright today, we're doing really good on the final day. We'll catch up in a bit. They've been a bit more frequent Darren Mackers, so we managed to complete those two tasks. So, can we get an hundred or another shiny off it? It's not shiny, and 614. That's another 98 right there, isn't it? That's another 98% Darren Macker right there. And 616, I believe you've said the floor and I've got one, I'll show you. Obviously, the other day I've mentioned this a couple of times. Is the Hundu. 2 CP off. But that's a really good one. Yep, 90, 15, 14, 15. Come on, game. I'll take it, I'll take it, though. This might be a bronzong, this one here is, and 9-12. Ouch, that doesn't seem that good. Yeah, that was pretty much the floor. Have you got a bronzong? Come on, shiny Daramaka. It's not shiny still, and 5 no, no, We've gone back down again, but... <laughs> so we have two 98 Daramakas today. One off the incense and one off that task. Two CP off, which is typical our luck. Um, off the thing. If I can get any more tasks, that'd be great today. See what happens, but I'll take that. If I get another 98 today, I will take it all the same. I haven't got and shiny these for the day. Let's see what comes of it. I'm running my daily incense, and guess what? It brought us another shiny bronzor. <laughs> That's double bronzors for the day. <sighs> Typical, isn't it? They come in droves. They don't come in ones. These shiny bronzors, they come in droves. So <sighs> we caught it. Let's see what it says. It's 
That is terrible. Never mind. I'm hoping I might see a Galarian bird off this incense, but we will see. But nonetheless, I'm a too shiny for the day, even if it is the same one. Then I've got a few more eggs ready to hatch. Almost got two 7Ks and a 12K. Yeah, I spun a couple of stops and I picked up a 10K and something else. Derp. So I've only got two 7Ks. It is what it is, never mind. However, we want to go for other news. I was saying we have a secondary community day this month, 20th of January. It's going to be Porygon. It's a classic community day. Porygon will make its debut again Saturday, January 20th, 2 p.m. The 5 p.m. obviously your local time again this is a classic so it's a throwback so if you haven't got a shiny polygon this is your chance to get one and not only one of the bonuses three times xp for catching pokemon which is absolutely incredible if you like me trying to get level 50 or even just trying to get up to level whatever level you want to get that extra xp is going to be insane if you drop a lucky egg on as well that is me an absolute nuts insane amount of xp gaining to catch in porygons obviously porygon we evolved with porygon z shiny guy just it looks stunning in the purplish blue ish color pinkish color, purple color i'm gonna call it Looks absolutely stunning. And obviously, we're not the, the normal type move, Try Attack, which is a pretty good move, actually. You might have some play. Uh, obviously, it'll be a $1 equivalent research uh, ticket if you wish to buy, which is the storyline. Again, uh, and I think the rest is just the usual usual bonuses, I was saying, but the free time to is me insane. There will be timed research towards free upgrades. Obviously, you need Porygon. And it's just like magic, my eggs are hatching. Sorry, but it's not a shiny magby sadly. Okay, well, like I said, 2, 7, and 12k is hatching. So, go back to Porygon in a second. Our second egg is going to be. Not a shiny Tyro, damn it! What's that 12 here going to say? It's going to say... I don't know. Did we get anything good? 736 is... Not that great, that's terrible, and that's also not so great either, damn. Well, we have one good batch of eggs, never mind. Anyway, as I was saying, sorry. Porygon, you obviously need uh, upgrades to obviously evolve Porygon into Porygon 2. Like, yeah, sorry, you'll get a time range warning, free upgrade, and free Sinnoh Stone. Just obviously roll with Porygon and Porygon 2. Obviously, you need an upgrade plus 25 candy. And then I think from Porygon 2, uh, obviously into Porygon Z, I believe it is, that's what I'm going to put it, 100 candy plus and Sinnoh Stone. So, obviously, going to need those. We'll be coming handy, obviously, to evolve, obviously, in that candy. And again, like I said, it has got a stunning shining. We've only since 2020, by the looks of it. I haven't got the old one. Yeah, 2020, so... Three, four, almost years ago now, is when we had obviously Porygon Community Day. So it's been a while. So it's like I said, it'll be an interesting one. There's some field research as well to catch Porygon, such as obviously Stardust Great Balls and also that more apparently some showcases me featuring it as well. And there will be a bundle box bundle which is ten dollars or their equivalent. 120 Ultra Balls, 15 Steel Pin apps, six basic incubators. I'll have to put that and one incense. I've been Pokemon Go website. You can pick that up. As event bundles within the shop for 1,350 poke coins, 50 ultra balls, 5 super incubators, 1 elite charge TM, and 5 lucky eggs, or a smaller one for 480 poke coins, you'll get 30 ultra balls, 1 incense, 3 super incubators, and 1 learn module. So, in time to, but again, I'll be definitely doing that. I'll be definitely competing in that one because, like I said, stunning shiny, and I wouldn't mind getting up. I don't think I've got 100, I've got 298s, hilariously, again, like today, as much as we've got so many 98 Pokemon today. Of that, and I've got some stunning, like I said, I've got a few shine, which are stunning. I wouldn't mind getting the shine either, but again, a really good classic community day for this month to go for as well. Shame about the exit. I might have grabbed more 7Ks now, might be our last batch if we can, but and still, obviously, we've got two shiny, uh, bor uh, two shiny bronzes today, so we've got a couple of shinies at least today to end off the event. But yeah, some really good events coming up. Uh, I said last day of this, obviously, New Year's event. Again, we've got Rowlet, Rowlet Community Day coming up this Saturday, which will be incredible, and obviously, our secondary one and Lycan Rob sort of event coming up which is going to be okay and we'll see if we can pick that up i really want to get myself a shiny rock rock and if we do get that you know hopefully it'll allow me to evolve it into that dust form like rock which will be absolutely incredible to see what happens anyway we'll catch up in a bit good people we are home just for a bit today's not over just yet we've got uh raid out this evening of Prince Feramosa for us which is not the greatest ultra beast immediately but you may still go there see if we can get the hunger it'd be quite cool and i've got a few more eggs to hatch maybe maybe more tasks which we have but speaking of tasks i have three daramaka tasks we just need one to shine it, still not shiny, and wow, that's the floor, isn't it? Just quickly, let's have a double check, because I reckon there's 578 is literally the floor, pretty much. Yep, just one little bit off, never mind. Come on, I just want one to shine. Please, game, it's still not shiny, and 602, we've made a massive improvement. And our last one, I hope not just today, but it could be, but it's not the shiny still, sadly. 599, oh, dear, we... Well, I mean, again, we've got a 98, there were two 98s, technically, one in the wire, one off a task. We might pick up some more to hopefully if we find some more. If not, like I said, we've got Pheromos to raid out soon, ish, a few hours from now. And then obviously I've got a few more eggs to hatch, so maybe, 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 maybe. We'll see what happens. So we're definitely coming to close and for this event. Yep, that's bad. Never mind. Nonetheless, we'll catch up again a bit later, see what happens, and then 
But yeah, next week we'll be around the community, so catch up in a bit. Good evening, our raid hour has finished up for us. We didn't get anything good, really. Two stars and three stars. We did get an extra small one, though, which is really cool, actually. So I got a fair most, as I said, obviously, down in my area. So we got, I'll take an extra small one. It's called my first ever uh, extra small uh, Ultra Beast. So, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll take that thing. I have got two 10Ks that are hatching right now. A fridge of hacks. Yo, okay. Now second to last egg is me. That's a really cool hatch. I'll take the fridge back. This is gonna be not bad about building though. That is a really cool hatch though. What do we get? Okay, five two nine for building is terrible. Of course, but fridge back is <gasps> what's that? Ninety three maybe? Fifteen thirteen thirteen. Oh yes, that is amazing. Probably one of the best backs I've ever got. That's incredible. I'll tell you, that's probably the best egg hatch I've got as well. We did hatch and my other two seven cans walking down for a radar. A Wino and a Igly Buff, but so so actually, so so that's not the greatest, unfortunately. It is what it is. I would have happily ended that video or the video on that fridge backs, but I do have three Darren Reptiles I've managed to pick up, surprisingly. Can we end on a shiny or a Hundu? Not a shiny, and that's terrible. Alright, well, no lie. And second to last task of the well entire event is not shiny and i can't no fine nine five are you serious please come on our last one it's still not the shiny we didn't get it five nine four wow that was the most dead badge of daramakas i've ever had oh that sucked never mind i'll tell you what like i said i'll end off with the 90 something 93 percent fridge backs okay and the extra small feromosa got a load of 98 pokemon let's be honest sadly not the shinies we want to get this event Ugh, yeah, that was so bad. And the event's about to end of now, so I'd be surprised if we actually pick anything else up now. Obviously, I'm going to head back home, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I can get. A few 98s, a couple of shiny bronze swords, an extra small Feromosa, a 93% I want to say, might be 96 or a stretch there. That fridge back from that 10k was amazing. Probably the best egg hatch I've had for a long time now. I will take that. And obviously, like I said, we've got many details coming up for new events that we know. We've got a Rowlet Community Day coming up this weekend, which will be our next video, which I can't wait for, I'm excited for. So, oh, thank you all very much for watching. We'll end it here, like I said. It's a little bit of a long video. I just want to get all the information out for the newest events as well. But much appreciated. Much love. We'll catch you, obviously, in the next adventure. Bye!